say with Richard, with uh, Cindy and I have four boys, and we have come home wondering if the, if not only the dog but one of the youngins would be duct taped to the uh, to the mailbox, or whether they were more worse than that fight with one another. Uh, you know, boys fight. That's how they settle things. Well, I live right here in Hayhira, um, live on Coleman Road. Uh, my boys went to school here at Hayhira Middle School, and uh, we are proud Vikings. It seems like we've had some wildcat and Viking things going on in the room here tonight, but um, I had a, a deep appreciation for our school system and effective education. I believe that uh, being a parent, being able to see these uh, kids go to school uh, teaches us so much of how things have changed in the education system and in our society. Uh, we like to hunt and fish, we're outdoors people. Um, I'm in Hayhira every day. If you don't see me at the post office or the store or something, you have an opportunity to have a senator who lives right here uh, with a Hayhira address and lives just a mile right outside the city limits. Um, we. Um, our active members at Crossroads Baptist Church in Valdosta. I had a privilege of sharing with some of the young people at First Baptist Say Hire today and uh, being able to uh, teach them. We teach, teach Bible classes. I speak in area churches. I've served on the Lowndes County Commission. Before that, I was on the Greater Lowndes Planning Commission. Mr. Slaughter, who's our chairman, was also chairman at the same time uh, when uh, I was on the Planning Commission. I've served with the uh, Chamber of Commerce, the Valdosta Lowndes County Chamber of Commerce. In fact, I was on Governmental Affairs when Fred Weatherington from Hayhira was our chairman, and, and uh, I had the privilege of, of two Hayhira people uh, being able to serve on that committee together, and I chaired the Legislative Development Committee while he chaired the Governmental Affairs Committee. And so I think that gave me a training ground, an opportunity to know about issues that are important to us in the seven counties that cover this district. It covers all of Lowndes, Eccles, Clinch, Lanier, Cook, Brooks, and the eastern part of Thomas. If you're in Pavo, Barwick, Boston, or the Gatlin Creek area of Thomasville. It's a large district and it's a diverse district. And jobs and industry are vitally important. We are losing industry all across this district. I was in Adel yesterday talking with some of the leaders there, a Sierra Pine, many of you would know what the old Weyerhaeuser plant that sits next to I-75 just closed a few weeks ago. They've lost about 90 jobs. Here in Lowndes County, we have seen through the years several uh, industries close. Uh, Shaw Industries closed down in Industrial Park, we lost about 300 jobs. Levi's plant several years ago, cracking good bakeries over on Forest Street in Valdosta closed. Uh, we're seeing jobs just being shipped out. Every one of these counties has been affected by the loss of jobs and industry. And we need a strong, aggressive voice in our state senate who will stand up for South Georgia. I think most of you know there are 16 counties in the Atlanta metro area that have as many senators and state representatives as all the rest of Georgia put together. We have 159 counties in the state of Georgia, 16 of them in the Atlanta metro area dominate so much of our state budget and our state government. Then there's North Georgia, then Central Georgia, the Macon, Perry, Cordell area, and then we're at the bottom of the, of, the, uh, of the state, not only geographically, but financially. And we need someone who will be willing to go up there and have backbone and stand up for the needs that we have in South Georgia. I certainly believe in uh, financial accountability. I, uh, a few years ago served as Chairman of the Finance Committee right here at First Baptist in Hay Hiram. We've worked on budgets um, in, in the County Commission. I'm in the financial services industry. I have page insurance and financial service. I'm an independent insurance broker. Um, dealing with financial issues with my clients every day. I've shared about my family. I certainly believe in family values. I'm pro-life. Um, I'm not much of a of a golfer, our boys, when we go out and do things and do it with friends and family, or we hunt, we fish. I certainly believe in uh, the right to bear arms. In fact, uh, don't mess with my wife. She's got a carry permit, and just like uh, just like me, I believe in the right to be able to, to bear arms. I certainly um, want to protect the culture and the 
and the way of life that we have here. I think it's sad when we see the best and the brightest of our children move away because we don't have the jobs and the industries and the things that that uh, want them to stay here or they may want to stay but they have to leave because they're looking for work and that's another reason of why we need to support our local school system I like some of the ideas I heard from our candidates I certainly think we need to encourage business and industry to partner with our local schools and doesn't just start with the college level we certainly need that at Wiregrass and VSU but right down here at Hayhower Middle School when they have more have a career day and have people come in at the high school level allowing some of these kids to go out and do what they call shadowing that means they go into the workplace and they see how it operates so they can see at 15 16 17 years of age what it is like to go into a business what it is like to to uh, see how that business is run we need to expand those programs because education goes beyond books it has to be very practical I will tell you something I will not make any promises that I cannot keep and I won't uh, make any uh, attempts at something or say something that I know is not true now you know I just uh, believe that uh, what a person says is vitally important I got in the mail uh, yesterday and I'm sure some of you did as well at a mailer from Mr. Black one of our opponents and it says that Ellis Black stopped Obamacare in Georgia. Well, I want to ask you some. How many of you had your health insurance rates go up in the last uh, six months? I know mine did. Many of you, several of you, nodding heads and raising hands. And let me tell you, Obamacare is in all 50 states. I'm a licensed health insurance agent, though I don't deal much with health insurance. My wife and I, our insurance rates went up to over $900 just for the two of us when it used to be $342 a month for Blue Cross Blue Shield and they're a very competitive company when it comes to rates. She's lost insurance coverage with her doctor. I've lost it with mine. Many of you have probably done that because those doctors are not in those networks. Obamacare is in Georgia, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, even though uh, a man that I count as a friend uh, says that he's stopped Obamacare in Georgia, it's here. So I'm not gonna make promises or claims of things that I cannot buy. I will tell you though I will fight for you I will stand for conservative values I will defend our way of life and I'll do everything that I can to be hey Harris senator as well as a senator for the 8th district to do what we need to have done to make us move forward and not backwards and not lose industry but bring industry here I'm John Page I appreciate your vote early voting starts Monday morning if you want to vote early at the Board of Elections office, which is on Oak Street, Five Points, it's about a block south of Winn Dixie, or you can vote right here in this room on May the 20th, and that's what I do. I vote right here in this room in the Hayhara uh, precinct. And uh, thank you very much. I have a, some cards out here with my phone number on the back. I'd love to be able to hear from you. You call me, I'll be glad to meet with you and sit down and listen to your concerns. Uh, because I'm here as a public servant to serve you. Thank you very much.